Welcome back. Samuel Gibson is about to attempt his first ultra marathon, a crashing long distance endurance race, an event which, frankly, is well beyond most healthy humans. But here's what's really amazing Samuel is only three foot tall and can't walk, let alone run. He has brittle bone disease. As the name suggests, this means his fragile bones break at the slightest bump. But that hasn't stopped Samuel. He's a husband, father, businessman, inventor, and sportsman. And now, as John Hudson discovers, a good Samaritan. When I was born, the first advice the doctor gave to mum and dad was to put me into an institution. Fortunately, Samuel Gibson's parents ignored their doctor's advice and looked after Sam at home with the rest of the children, giving him the best childhood possible. I'll never be able to repay all that's been done for me as a kid and to give me opportunities that I was given. So I guess this is an opportunity for me to help someone else. Yeah. <laughs> so Ryuki just uses his wheelchair in the lounge yeah, area here. Lounge, yeah. That someone else is Ryuki, a three-year-old Christchurch boy who also has brittle bones disease. And to the rest of the house, um, some of the doorways need to be made yeah, a bit wider. Yeah, yeah, all the doors that need Hiduki access needs to be widened. Yeah. Samuel is on a mission to help Ryuki have the mobility and confidence he enjoyed as a child. But it'll cost. I mean, the target is sort of 30 to $50,000. Um, I, I have no idea how far we'll get with that. I think at least we can bring light to their cause and kind of give people an opportunity to help. Feel good? So back home in Napier, Sam is yep. in training for an ultra marathon. Squeeze. He's leading a fundraising team which will good. use the event to raise money to make Ryuki's home wheelchair friendly. Sam's wife, Jen, will be in the support group. This next one's different because there's a, there's a real purpose behind it. Yeah, a lot of the other things have been a bit kind of selfish because we all like to have fun and, and an adventure. Sam has never let brittle bones disease get in the way of adventure. Last Christmas, he spent skiing in Canada. A year ago, he sailed a dinghy across Cook Strait. But that was a breeze compared to what he's about to do. Ride his cross-country buggy in a five-day ultramarathon through some of New Zealand's most rugged country. Awesome, Sam. Fuck in there, buddy. This one-day event was just a warm-up. I was raised in a, a family who, yeah, we, I mean, we lived on a little farmlet. Um, my siblings are surfers. And so there's always sort of that connection with the outdoors. And, you come from a can-do family. Yeah, I guess so. Sam gets around the country on a buggy he designed himself. Wherever Sam goes, his Permobil K450 follows. It's a remarkable piece of Kiwi engineering, designed and mostly built in New Zealand, and now sold all over the world. But more importantly to Sam, the Permobil means he can get pretty well anywhere, outdoors or in. You know, um, I'm just lucky that I was born in, in the era that I was. The science and technology, combined with Sam's astounding resilience and courage, haven't gone unnoticed. This week, he'll speak at TEDx. Every year, this number the internet platform popular with the likes of Bill Gates, Helen Clark, oh, Edward Snowden. For Samuel Gibson, it's all about attitude. You know, we live in an, an amazing day and age. You know, I've got a wonderful, you know, technology that I can use to be independent and we have a, a healthy, happy family that don't have brittle bones. He really is an amazing guy. We'll have a full report on Sam's next big adventure, the Ultra Marathon, later this year.